What was the first moment that you knew 23andMe, you were onto something it was going to take off? Like, when did you know? The reality for me is I never doubted. I mean, I would say my thought process about the prospects of the company were the same when we started the company as they are today. Like, I wouldn't say there was any... Well, I've always believed that there's like, again, it's universal. Everyone has a genome. So the product is universal. It's applicable to everyone. There was one day where um, we had a head of marketing who on a whim was like, hey, why don't we just like, there's this kind of fake holiday DNA day, which is like one that we, we've uh, helped kind of create and pioneer and, and celebrate, which is, again, it's a great day. Um, but we introduced one day, we're like, let's just cut down the price to $99. And um, we put a limit on it. It's like, we'll sell a thousand kits. And my head of engineering called me at seven in the morning. He's like, uh, we already hit our limit. What should I do? And previous to that, like we had sold, you know, like 20 to 50 kits a day. And I was like, oh, wow. Like we sold a thousand? Like, I was like, I don't know, just let it rip. This is like the kind of thing, like in those early days, like when you think about things, like that wouldn't be able to happen right now. But like, for me, I was like, I was a single point decision maker. I was like, sure. Like never, never occurred to me consequences of it. I was like, let it rip. Let's see what happens. And um, we ended up selling um, about 20,000 kits in 17 hours. And it only occurred to me at like five o'clock where I was like, holy cow, do we have inventory? Like it never occurred to me, like maybe we don't have inventory. Like <laughs> this is how unsophisticated we were with operations. And it also didn't occur to me, like all the consequences that happen when you sell 20,000 kits in one day and your lab is expecting 50 to hundred a day, you just like, it's a nightmare for the lab. And then even shipping all those kits out, like we weren't set up to ship those kits out. Um, but again, those are, those are the kinds of things that you do in those early days where, um, I raised my series C round based on that, where I was like, look, there's clearly demand. There's like a ton of demand and we just tapped into it. Like, we're just starting to see people want this information. They just like, they just, they're like, again, they don't know exactly why yet. Um, and I like, there's all types of operational consequences from that, but it was the first time that we saw like, holy cow, there's huge demand for this product and um, we just need to unleash it. Hey Founder Fam, we hope that you loved that clip. If you did, you can click through right here to watch the full interview. You don't want to miss this one. See you there.